Hi, this is Zeus the Sparky over here. Okay, in today's video, learn as I learn video, uh, we're both gonna learn how to um, use timers. Okay, so um, I did a quick reading of it on one of the PDF files I downloaded about just basic programming for the Micro 810, and it told me I gotta use these um, well, well, instruction blocks. That's how you make timers using instruction blocks. Okay, so okay, first we got this input. Um, I want to change this a bit. I've been using, I was using this for the quick tutorial I was recording before. Um, okay, so let's just, okay, let's just make sure this is the program. Okay, our controller is connected. Um, okay, let's connect it. Okay. Okay, it's connected, and let's upload whatever's on there. Okay, uploading, uploading. Okay, sweet, it's uploaded. Okay, so go here, go into debugging mode, and then we'll just check if it works. Okay, yep, it's working. Okay, so we want to change that. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to add a normally closed um contact um behind this so we move this forward oh well we can't move it forward okay so just add another reverse um another direct contact on the back um and um define it um okay so um our normally closed contacts connected to uh number zero input number zero Okay, so I'll put a direct contact because it's on a normally closed contact. Um, if we use a reverse contact, it's going to stay open. So, okay, we've got that and that. Okay, so we don't want to hold it down. We don't want to hold the button down in order to operate it. I want it to, I want it to turn on just by pressing it one and turn it off just by pressing the um, normally closed. Okay, so we've got to create our, what's it called, a branch. So create a branch under this, and then we want to add another direct contact here, and then um, this output over here is going to connect to this. Okay, so output number zero zero. Okay, there you go. Okay, so let's download this. Again, downloading and uploading takes its time through a USB. I'm gonna sip on some tea over here. And we are good to go. Okay, so let's play it. Okay, okay. as you can see, you can see power going through the normally closed contact, it's close, if you press the normally closed contact, yeah, power would go through. So it basically acts as a reset button for the whole circuit. Okay, so if we press the normally open, it should keep the output turned on, and our light stays on. Okay, um, j um, okay let me just um, show a video of... Well, actually, I'll do it afterwards. I'll show a video of how this operates um, after this using my um, video editing skills. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so we got a latch, made a latch switch. We made um, our normally closed contact, which um, resets the whole. Okay, let's try that. Press the normally. Yep, it resets perfectly. Okay, sweet. Okay, let's get out of debugging mode. Okay, we want to look at making a timer. So go on instruction block. Chuck it, okay, instruction block, chuck it in, and we're supposed to T O, okay, time, okay. So we've got an on delay timer, off delay timer, and turn on, okay, so let's try on delay, a ton, the most common. Okay, so we've got the in and the output. 
um okay so okay so um this is um preset time this is elapsed time so when this uh, when the um, voltage run disactivates the elapsed time will start um going up and then yeah once it reaches the preset time then it will um it will give power to q okay so um okay so um let's start by presetting this to a okay how do we preset this name initial value alias time um okay so uh, wait okay so in um okay from what i gathered we type in t hash 1s where um t states that it's uh, in time format and 1s stands for one second okay so let's download this and see what happens okay like i said this is um learn as i learn it's trial and error um after like figure out how it all works and um yeah just how it straightforward works um i'll do a quick tutorial video just to get straight to the point of how to actually do it okay um okay downloading downloading and it is downloading store okay sweet okay let's put it in debugging mode see what happens Okay, so we've got voltage going in, press, nothing happens, press it. Okay, so, okay, that was quite fast. Let's try again. Okay, see what happens here. That starts counting. Like when I press it, it will start counting, but it didn't reach one second. I'm going to hold it down. How can I change? underscore one okay let me try something else okay so this doesn't latch because that doesn't turn on of course so let me try changing this to ton underscore one and see what happens okay but like does that mean when that gets power or when that activates uh, we will find out okay what's this mismatch between resulting type ton one hold on okay Okay, let's download it. Build errors, okay. So we can't do that. Um Okay, so Okay, so this is what we usually um do in this case. We just create our Okay, we create a new branch. This is what I used to do in my R uh, actually a new rug. This is what I used to do with my um old programs. I uh, just create a rug and then um just um go direct contact, chuck it in and name it the uh, EMDI01 and then create um create a direct coil that's can latching coil. latching coil oh yeah just make it shorter just for um full yeah. dimension okay what's happening here Undefined variable. Okay, how are these defined? But these are only defined like that. So uh, system variables, um, global local variables, alias latch, um, dimensions. Yeah, it's a bool. Initial variable.
Okay, it's not working. It's okay, what for? Okay, so we got a working latch. Okay, so um, okay, we wanna okay when latch activates, we wanted to latch this. Okay, so just get a direct coil, chuck it in, and latch. Okay. Okay, why is that not working? Okay. Latch. Okay, so download it, see if it works. Due to build errors. Still. Okay, so wait, delete this. Delete the rug, the rug will override it. Um, okay, download it again, see what happens. Okay. Okay, so let's see if it stays on. Okay, no, it doesn't stay on. Okay, so we've got a problem there. Okay, so la okay, it turns on latch, but Okay, okay, so Okay, this is getting a bit messy here. Okay, that turns on, turns on latch. Okay, what if we chuck a branch this off, move this one here, and now okay, download it. Okay, this is a lot of freaking <laughs> Okay, even if that's on it doesn't mean the electricity is gonna go through you need a Okay, yes. Okay, debugging mode okay now it's definitely gonna work okay so okay it's going through the close switch press this latches okay it's done to count up two seconds three seconds four seconds and yes we have a um we have uh yeah output turning on so yeah that's how we use a timer okay so that's the that's the um ton timer the this uh, on delay time uh, timer so um you get power to it it waits for its um it waits for the time elapsed time to get to the um preset time and then it turns on its output okay so this is um Zeus the Sparky thanks for watching um in the next episode we will look at the um other timers um Yes, if you like this video, please subscribe. Um, I'll be making a, a quick tutorial video on this very soon. Uh, press the like button if you like this video. Put your comments below and thumbs up. Alright, Th thanks again.